Next up in the NatWest T20 Blast is a trip to Headingley to face Yorkshire. What have you made of them so far in the competition? Yeah, I think they're a team that um, the names in the team speaks for themselves. Um, they're a really good team. Um, they've got some big names and big players in the team, but um, nonetheless, we've I think we've made a few upsets this season, and it just shows you what we can do as a team when we play together and we play to the best of our ability. So um, I think we can beat any team on paper um, at any stage of the game or of the season um, in this competition. So we've played some really good cricket, and yeah, you don't want to look too far into into names and teams and stuff. At the end of the day, it's a team performance that reflects on the result of the game. And obviously there was the win for Derbyshire over Yorkshire at a sellout in Queen's Park. Are you hoping to do the double again? Have you got a game plan in place? Yes, it would definitely be great to do the double on them. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it will put us in a good place on the log as well. Um, but I think it's all cliche as you just take it game by game and take it ball by ball, um, not looking too far ahead and then just stick to your plans and your processes. And at, at the end of the day, if you do that well, you might come out on top. And you're actually Derbyshire's leading wicket taker in the tournament so far. Is there anything you've been working on in particular? Uh, for me, it's just to when I go out there to give my hundred percent, um, just to try and bowl quick and and do what I can do to, to to place the team first and to to put some pressure on on the batters coming in or or the batters that is in. So for me, it's just to play every single game um, to the best of my ability, and um, yeah, hopefully I can contribute in a, in a few more games coming up.